So, hello everybody, what is going on? It is Kibishimaki here, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. Last time, with our main protagonist for now, Erica, and Seth, made our way <sighs> from the border Mulan and saving Tana to Castle Frelia, where we heard the terrible news that King. Fado has unfortunately failed or unfortunately did not survive the fall of Rene. This time, with the 500 gold we were given by the king, and some, or 5,000 gold we were given by the king and a few extra allies, we have nothing more to do but to continue our story and head off to the next area of Ide. King Hayden. Apologizes for being unable to spare soldiers. However, he does provide Erica with a small but trusted party of vassals. Erica is grateful for the king's aid. Chasing rumors of her brother, she sets out for Grado. The group's first stop is a remote village of Ide, which was, until very recently, a part of Renee's. Here, Erica sees the devastation of Renee's within with her own eyes. Chapter 2 The Protected. But yes, hello, this is Kibashimaki, and we're back for some more Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. Seth has mapped out a route for us. We'll travel south of Renee's and pass through Seraphim into Grado territory. Hmm. That would seem a sensible plan. Assuming, of course, that we can avoid any run-ins with Grado soldiers. Princess Erica, may I have your leave to scout ahead? From the sky, I'll have a better chance of spotting any nearby troops. We're yours to command, your highness. Will you give your permission? Yes, of course. Keep an eye out for enemy bowmen, though, Vanessa. Yes, your highness, I shall. I shall prove myself worthy of the honor of your trust. She seems very sincere. Sincere? Yes, quite. See, we have two new allies, Vanessa. And Moldor. Hey, boss! We found more villages ripe for the picking. One, two, three. <laughs> I love a good war. With all those soldiers preoccupied, we're free to pillage as we please. Right, Bone, you're in charge. Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideout. I'm on it. Dad, bandits approaching. Huh. I'm getting you out of here, Ross. You stay close to me. Let's start with that village there. Go to it, boys. It's all yours. Cut down anyone foolish enough to get in your way. I'm heading west, around the mountains, to the other villages. The village was destroyed, unfortunately. Ross, what is it? What's wrong? It's nothing. It's nothing. It's just a scratch. You're a warrior, Dad, and I'm your son. I won't be beaten so easily. Don't risk yourself so foolishly. We need to get you some help. Please, someone help my son. We arrived just in time. Ah, this looks serious. I must report back to Princess Erica at once. I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Bandits? We have arrived at our first dilemma. We must move quickly and attract as little attention as possible. But 
but I cannot stand by and watch innocents be harmed. Vanessa, how fare the villagers? I spotted one injured person. He appeared to be just a child. Father Moldor, can you staff help him? Can your staff help him? Well, yes. I can heal his injuries with my staff, but... I cannot do it from here. He's too far away. I must be near him. Princess, please leave this to me. I shall bring the boy here. Alright, Vanessa. It's up to you. Very well. I'm off. Here we go. We begin anew. And we start all over. Uh, alright. Let's see. Let's have Erica move in. Let's start checking out these villages with her. Might as well. This is terrible. What are we going to do? Those bandits are so close. If we can't find some way to protect ourselves, the village is doomed. Perhaps. People, listen to me. You must close the village gates immediately. Hey, hurry, before the bandits arrive. Who are you? You aren't from one of the neighboring towns, are you? And your weapons give you away. You're no peasant. I am er. My name is Arena. I'm a mercenary. A mercenary named Arena, is it? There's more to you than that, I feel. But don't worry, it's none of my affair. I haven't told you who I am yet, have I? I am Selena, a general in Grado's army. Ah! Is something wrong? Whoa. No, uh, nothing. It looks like these villagers have some bandit troubles. I would like to help, but I have orders. I'm to leave for the capital immediately, and I cannot stay. You are armed, and you claim to be a mercenary. Will you help them? Um, is there a problem? No! Of course they'll help them. It's just... You're one of Grado's generals. Why? These aren't soldiers. They are people. Should they suffer because their leaders fight? I've petitioned your aid. Take this as payment. We get ourselves a red gem. There we go. That area is safe. All we can do... Vanessa is uh, rush off and rescue Ross for bringing him close back to safety. And while Moldor can move a bit closer, take and drop him right over there. Ross won't be able to move very far, so we ain't got to worry about that too much. Um, let's go. Let's get Franz moving straight to the south immediately. Let's make sure he's got a sword equipped. Let's wait it out. And, uh... Yeah, we'll have Gilliam and Co. Or Gilliam and Seth move off to the right. There we go. See Cutthroat taking on Garcia, or attempting to. It's not going to work out very well. The others, they heal up. Everything looks good. Garcia has a hand axe and an iron axe, which is pretty good. Takes care of the enemy with ease. And now we can do what we were meant to do. Uh... Yeah, we'll have Erica move in and talk with Ross. Hey, listen. My village is being attacked by bandits. My name's Ross. Come on, you have to help me wipe those thugs out. Alright, just just take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. Leave the villages to us. We'll drive off the bandits. Seth, take the boy somewhere safe. No, wait, I'm going to fight too. But my father is out there, all alone, fighting those bandits. I've got to get back to him. As quickly as possible. I'm the son of the great Garcia. 
As long as I have my axe, no bandit will ever defeat me. Alright, I can see you are not going to be swayed. But you must promise. You must promise you'll stay close to us. There we go. We have an ally by the name of Ross. Check the next town. The most wonderful man rescued me. He was dressed like a mercenary, but he had an air of elegance about him. He gave me this elixir. I'm sure it will help you on the battlefield. Obtain ourselves an elixir, which heals loads of HP for everybody. Let's grab Vanessa to have her rescue Garcia. And rush back over here. Wait it out. Moldor. Okay, they're all good. They won't be able to get close enough. Franz. We'll have Gilliam move in. Uh, Gilliam can't take. Seth. Take. And drop right there. And then we'll have a move. Right about there. Move Moldor in. Have him pay a visit to the armory. See what we got. We have the Slim Sword. Slim Sword, the Iron Sword, Slim Lance, Iron Lance, and the Iron Axe. Uh, doesn't seem like there's much that we could use. Uh, what does. No. <laughs> Vanessa. She has the Slim Lance equipped. Okay. Move Gilliam in. Have him. Wait it out. Move uh, friends along as well. We'll have them wait it out. And we'll move Moldor. Have them wait there. See how the enemy moves in against us. He's going to attack Fr uh, Franz as expected. He should be fine. He's got a sword, so... Yeah. Gain some decent experience. We see the enemy slowly closing in. See Garcia is going to swing. Try to take care of the cutthroat. The bandit, I guess. I see more enemies coming in. Ross can't move very far. Vanessa can move. Well, can move, but not very far as we'd hope. These guys aren't going to get too close to us. We'll have friends. Tackle you. Boom. And Franz got a level up. Boost in strength and skill by hitting level 3. Not bad. Has got him a vulnerary. Perfect. Uh, we'll have Gilliam. Uh, there's not much Gilliam can do. We'll have Erica move in. Never mind. Seth can move along. Stay right here. Have some sword. Has a sword equipped and waited out. Uh, we'll have Vanessa pick up Garcia again and move back here and wait it out. We'll have Ross. Come down and stay close. We'll have Erica. We'll have Moldor a bit close. And then we'll have Erica stand right here at the front. And Gilliam can move right here. Supply. Ah! It's cool. Okay. Interesting. Trade. So let's take the red gem. Have him visit the armory. Have him sell off the red gem for extra dough. And let's have him buy nothing, because there's not much else he can use. There we go. I see the enemy's closing in slowly. But they're not going to be able to do much to Seth. He can easily mop the floor with everybody. Though it's not a good idea to have him right up in the front, because of how easily he can damage like everything. Let's have Vanessa over here and drop Garcia. Um, should be okay right there. I'll have her just wait it out. Ross move in and talk with his old man. Dad! Ross! Boy, what did I tell you? What are you doing here? Don't worry about me. Hurry up and get yourself to safety. Did you really think I could just run away while you fight, Dad? You taught me that fighters fight for what's important to them. There's no way I'm leaving you. I'm leaving. I'm fighting just like you, Ross. All right, listen to me. We'll cut our way out of here together. Just like that, we have Garcia added to our aid. So let's uh, 
bone. Can't get very far. Seth can rush over here, which is what I honestly wanted. Have him wait it there. We'll move Franz right here. Have him wait with the sword. Go. The bowman can hit very far, actually. Uh, we'll have Erica. Have Erica move right here. Act as a guard on the right side. Move you right here. Make sure you're equipped the hand axe. Wait it out. Then we'll keep Moldor and Gilliam right there, because I don't think... Oh, Gilliam's in danger. Moldor's in danger. Should be okay. Then... We'll have Gilliam rescue Vanessa for now. Okay, it's expected. Attack Erica. Boom. Boom. Go. Gain that experience and leave. Attack Erica again. Avoid it. Boom. Attack once more. There we go. I'm probably going to end up having to redo this chapter because I like, messed up twice. An iron bow won't really do much even if it hit us. Go. Have Erica move in. Attack right here. Boom. Boom. Go. Weapon level increase, which is pretty good. Have Garcia move. Trade with Ross. He can use the hand axe perfectly. Move Ross in. Have him. The hatchet can hit from there? Does more damage, but I think has less more accuracy too. Alright, well, we'll give it a try. We'll see how well we can do. Nice. Ross did what I had hoped. Gain some decent experience. Go. Bone is a bit strong. Have him. Um, Seth visit here. Hmm. What is it? What's all the ruckus? What? B -b Bandits? Spread the word. Spread the word, everyone. Close the village gates. Thank you for your warning. Please accept this small token. Obtain ourselves a pure water. It's not bad. Um, and then we'll really just have you wait in there. You can attack anyone. You have an axe. We'll have Franz step up. Yeah. There's not much you can do. If anything, you're gonna attack Seth and you're gonna attack Franz. Or maybe even Erica. You can't make it that far, so it'd be smart actually to just have you push up by one. Uh, uh, move you here. Have you drop Vanessa there. And then we'll bring Moldor in. Have him wait right there. And we'll wait it out. Let's see. Yep, as expected, you're gonna take Erica. Since I'll who you can really hit. Boom. Go. And you're gonna go in against Franz. Wait a minute! Who are you? Go. Yeah, Franz should be okay in this fight. Boom. We'll have Ross swing. The hatchet at the cutthroat. Boom. Just not to worry about them too much. Ross gains a level up. Not bad. The journeyman with a boost in HP, skill, luck, and defense. Nice. He's not going to be able to get very far. If anything, I can move Erica here. Have her wait it out. Have Garcia. You know. He's going to be forced to attack Gilliam or Franz, so let's just have him attack Franz. Let's have Franz attack. We should be good. Go. have no real need to go in with anyone else, so we can wait to turn out. Have him attack Erica, and we're good. There we go. Ugh. Blast. Done. Just like that, Erica gains another level up, and we move on. Completing the chapter. 
Level 6 with a boost in skill, speed, and luck. You saved my son. I owe you my thanks. It's not necessary. Hold on a moment. Aren't you... The Great Garcia? You fought for Renee, didn't you? Seth, do you know this man? He was a troop commander for Renee until around 10 years ago. When I was a recruit, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for Renee's. Master Garcia, you must know the peril our homeland faces right now. Can we impose upon you to lend your strength to Renee's once again? I'm sorry. I'm a tired now. I'm not a soldier anymore. It's a decision I made long ago. Master Garcia. When I was a soldier, I lived my life fighting for my country's honor. I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless, uncaring nobles. When my wife fell ill and died, I met the child she had left behind. At that moment, I finally realized what my duty had cost me. I stood at my wife's grave and promised her I would be a father to our son. I'm done with armies. I'm done with fighting. Except to protect my son. I have no regrets. I'm the boy's father. You... You blast the fool! Father! What's all this nonsense I'm hearing? Ross! If you're not going, then I will. I'm a fighter. I know I can do this. Ross, what are you saying? Hi. Dad, please, listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being a soldier for me. I know that. But... How can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart. You, you can't give that up and be happy. Look at me, Dad. Have you seen me fight? I'm not a child anymore. I'm a warrior, like you. You're afraid to worry, but I can survive on my own. Ross. You want to challenge me, Father? I'm a fighter. The best in all of Eid. I'm not gonna lose to you. I'm not gonna lose to anyone. You're right. You're a good soldier, Ross. Sir Seth. If these old bones of mine can still serve, I'd like to join you. Dad. Looks like my boy grew up while I wasn't looking. He's tougher than I thought. He doesn't need my help. I've raised him as best as I could, as best I could, but he's right. I've nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight. Dad! Thank you so much for your help. Please, stay the night and rest. We would if we could, but we have much to do and far to travel. Your safety is reward enough. Ah, oh, well... My, that is a splendid bracelet you're wearing. Thank you, my father gave this to me. It's a wonderful gift, but you should be careful wearing such a valuable item so openly. Since Renee's was invaded, things have become so dangerous around here. There are gold-hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. The most wicked of Bazba's bandits, they are beyond cruel beyond words. If you have something they want, your life is worth less than nothing. Just the other day, they assaulted some travelers and... Oh, it was awful. I... I can't believe such things. Oh, Renee's is finished. Mark my words. The, Grado's em the Grado Empire has stolen our future. Our only hope against them was that Prince Ephraim would prevail, but 
Rumor has it that he's on the verge of being crushed by Gorado's vast numbers. These are dark days. Travel with care. Well, that's not very supportive. But oh well. Ephraim. Three years ago, we get a little flashback. It's time to start. Are you ready, Erica? Yes, Ephraim. Let's begin. Tell me, though. Why do you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. I do not like uncivilized behavior. I think one can solve one's problems without fighting. And yet... And yet what? I've always relied on you to protect me, brother. I would rather not be such a burden to you in the future. So, I thought maybe I should learn to protect myself. <laughs> I'm your brother. Brothers are supposed to protect their sisters. It's nothing for you to worry about. It's no cause for concern. Yes, but I'm your sister. Sisters are supposed to worry about their brothers. So I would like to learn something of swordplay, if only a little. And maybe someday, I can protect you in your time of need. So please, Ephraim. Alright, alright. How could I say no? Honestly, once you get an idea into your head, that's it. I might as well give in. It's agreed. I'll teach you, but won't hold back because you're my sister. And I want no complaining once we've started, Erica. Complain? Me? Never. <laughs> Oops, beg your pardon. Hey! Princess, are you alright? Yes. Someone bumped into me is all. I was jarred. Hmm? Your Highness? Where is your bracelet? My bracelet? It's... Gone. Where could it be? To that man... I'll find him. Don't worry about it, Seth. That bracelet was a gift from my father. But Ephraim needs our help. I can't let sentimentality get in the way of my duty. No, Princess. We must retrieve your bracelet, regardless of cost. You cannot lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. Without an ounce or time to waste, that'll be it for now. Join us back here next time where we tackle Chapter 3. The Bandits of Borgo.